The Door Transmitter from Bellman and Simpson is part of the Visit Smart Home system that helps you keep tabs on your home. It tells you when someone presses the doorbell to visit you. The door transmitter works wirelessly with our full range of receivers. Let's look in the box. Here is the door transmitter. A user manual in multiple languages. A screw and wall plug. And a pure alcohol towel. Now, to set up the transmitter, remove the battery tab. Here is the internal microphone that detects the sound from the doorbell. To mount the doorbell on the wall, clean the wall from dust with the pure alcohol towel. Remove the protective film from the adhesive tape, or you could use the screw, and place it to the left of your existing doorbell as close as possible, max of one inch. To test the connection, press both buttons on the transmitter simultaneously and the LED lights up in green to show that the transmitter is activated and sending out a radio signal. A green LED on the receiver will light up. In addition, it starts to sound, flash, or vibrate depending on the receiver. Now, when someone presses the doorbell, the door transmitter is activated and sending out a radio signal. Now the door transmitter is ready to use. That's how easy it is to set up. Here are some additional features. Besides the internal microphone detection, there are other ways to detect sound with the door transmitter. You could use the external microphone to detect a doorbell sound. Connect the external microphone's cord to the door transmitter, and then remove the protective film and place it on the doorbell speaker. If you want to use the external microphone only to avoid sound interference from the internal microphone, you can disable it. To do this, remove and reinstall the batteries. Press the lower button on the left 10 times to turn off the internal microphone. The LED will blink three times in red to confirm the internal mic is turned off. To turn the internal microphone back on, Remove and reinstall the batteries. Then press the lower button 10 times. The LEDs will blink three times in green to confirm the internal mic is turned on. If you want to use the same transmitter to detect two doorbells, the two doorbells must be kept 10 inches from each other to avoid sound interference. The door transmitter can also be set to receive signals from electromechanical doorbells. Open the cover and move the fourth signal switch to the on position. You may also choose to hardwire the existing doorbell to the transmitter. Open the cover and you will find three terminals here. Depending on your doorbell type, there are two different ways to connect the terminals. Use one and two to connect an active switch or use 2 and 3 to connect a passive switch. Now let's talk about the doorbell sound recognition function. The door transmitter has a pre-stored database that can be used for the doorbell detection and activation. If the door transmitter doesn't respond when the doorbell rings, it might be because the sound of your doorbell is not in the pre-stored database. You can then record the sound of the doorbell into the door transmitter in three easy steps. First, press and hold the top button until the top LED starts to blink. Release it to start the recording. Second, press the doorbell at least eight times, each time at least two seconds long. Third, Press the top button again to stop the recording. If the LED lights up in green, that means the recording is successful and the sound is stored and will be used for the internal microphone's detection. If the LED lights up in red, then the recording failed and the steps need to be repeated. Make sure you do the sound recording in a quiet environment or it may affect the detection result. If you prefer to use the external microphone, Use the bottom button for the previous steps.
To delete all recorded sounds, press and hold both the buttons simultaneously for 5 seconds, and the original sound database will be restored. The transmitter is powered by two AA batteries, which can last up to 5 years. When the power LED blinks in orange, the batteries need to be replaced. Next to the batteries are two different switches. The radio key switch is in its default position and works with all of our receivers out of the box. The signal pattern switch sets the transmitter to trigger different notification patterns on the receiver. Normally, you don't need to change these two switches unless you would like to customize the system. If so, please watch our separate instruction video. And that is the door transmitter, part of the Visit Smart Home system.